Hey, my name is Nolan Reese. Um, I'm the creator of the song Broken for the game Lost in Vivo. And this is my guitar tutorial for how to play this song. Today we will be looking at both the rhythm guitar part I wrote and the solo guitar part that I wrote. First, I want to thank Akira Kuma, the game developer of the game Lost in Vivo, for all the work that he did on such an amazing game and the fact that he allowed me to be a part of the game. If you're a fan of horror, definitely check it out. It's nice to know that horror isn't just all jump scares anymore like it seemed like it was going. Um, so please check out Lost in Vivo if you haven't and let's just dive into it. So first thing first, your guitar should be in standard tuning, which is E, A, D, G, B, E, just in case anyone doesn't know. So I wanna play the rhythm guitar part for you all without the instrumentals or without the other instruments, just so you all know what it sounds like. little hiccups there and there I'm not the best guitar player and I should preference that because I'm not going to know what notes I play on the fretboard but I will let you know where my finger is on the fretboard what finger I'm using and what string it is so it is two parts of the rhythm guitar first part being the verse part that's what I call it and then the second part being the chorus part um, so let's look at the first part which is the verse part of the rhythm guitar. So the first part of the rhythm guitar part for the verse is... Now I think this is an E chord, but I'm not sure. But basically you're playing the open E string, your pointer finger on the A string, second fret, your middle finger on D string, second fret, and your pinky finger on the fourth string, on a, your pinky finger on the fourth fret on the G string. So once you get comfortable with that picking pattern, which is E, A, D, A, G, D, A, D, E, A, D, A, G, D, A, D. And the notes that I'm saying are just the open strings that you're gonna play. Um, I know some people call them one, two, three, four, five, six but I'm just used to calling them by their string name. So once you have that picking pattern down, that's basically what you do for the whole song. Um, and then you can move on. So you have the first part down. Just play it twice through, twice through. Next thing you're gonna do is a C chord. I actually know this one. So the second part or the second chord of the verse progression is basically a C chord. This is like one of the only chords I know. So you have. Right, so it leads right into that. The first part leads right into this part. And the basic C chord is played with your ring finger on the third fret of the A string, your ring middle finger on the second fret of the D string. You're leaving the G string open. And then you're putting your pointer finger on the first fret of the B string. And then you alternate just like the last part. 
Okay, practice that once you have a smooth progression from the first to the second. I don't even have a smooth progression when I made this song. Um, then we can move on to the next part. I think it's an A minor, um, which is basically going to be an open A string. Your middle finger on the second fret of the D string, ring finger on the second fret of the G string, and then your pointer finger on the first fret of the B string. And that's all you're going to play for that part. So you're not going to do the same picking pattern you did for the first and second part. It's just going to be the A, D, G, D for this third chord. Okay, so, so far all the parts should sound like... fun part, the part that's really inspired by Akari Amioka is the next part, which is just using these two fingers, you're going to take your middle finger, put it on the third fret of the A string, and then your pointer finger is going on the second fret of the D string. And that's what it should sound like. And then once you play the progression from before, you just end off with that same finger pattern, and then you slide it up two fret two frets which is going to be your ring middle finger on the fifth fret of the a string and then your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the d string okay so that's it that ends the phrase of the verse part for this rhythm guitar and then you just replay it over so we'll go through it For the chorus part of the song, chorus rhythm guitar, it's going to be that C chord that we did before um, to start it off. Same exact finger uh, placement, same exact picking style, okay? Once you have that part done, all you really have to do for the next part, which is going to be that A minor chord, we're not playing any note, or we're not gonna have our finger on any string besides the D string. So you can take your pointer and your ring finger off and then play the same picking pattern, but instead you're gonna play the open B and the open A string, okay? Same exact picking pattern, but you're just removing your pointer finger and your ring finger. So play it back to back. All right, and then once you have the C chord and a minor chord down, which is... part of the chorus chord is bring your pointer finger and place that on the second fret of the A string so you should have your pointer finger and second fret of the A string and your middle finger second fret of the D string and then you're gonna pick E A D B G D G okay so you're playing two op three open strings, um, which is the E, the G, and the B. Okay, and then we finish it exactly how we finished the verse part.
onto the soloing guitar and we'll take it piece by piece like I did with the rhythm guitar. The soloing guitar is almost like a verse chorus as well. Um, and you could hear that if you heard the song. So let's start with the first verse, which is... <laughs> So the basic rundown of that part is hammer-ons and vibrato, like I said. Um, you're gonna start on the A string with a slide up to the fifth fret, with a hammer-on to the seventh fret. And another thing that's really, really, was really crucial in making the song was guitar noises. I didn't wanna mute. The sounds that my hands made on the guitar, I actually emphasized it sometimes. So don't be afraid of that. So it starts with that hammer on, that slide hammer on. Then you're gonna slide up on the D string to the ninth fret. Then you're gonna slide hammer on to the G string, seventh to ninth fret. And then you're gonna go back to the D string on the seventh fret. play that twice through after that part is done you're going to do a slide hammer on to the ninth fret of the D string and then you're going to play the 11th fret of the G string to the ninth fret of the G string and then go back to the D or 9 slide on the D, go into the 7th fret, and then hammer on on the 9th, and then you're going to slide for each and every note of this part, which is going to be a slide for the G 11th fret, G 12th fret, B 10th fret, B 12th fret. You want to really stop them short, you don't want them to ring out. So once you do that slide on the B string, or that slide for the G string and the B string, you're going to re-slide on the 12th fret of the B string. You're going to play the 9th fret of the G string, and then uh, that's followed by the 11th fret on the G string with a bend. Okay, you don't want to over bend, you don't want to under bend, but you want to just get the pitch right. And like I said, a lot of vibrato. Once you get that part down, it's going to be 7th fret on the G string, two times, and then 8th fret on the B string, followed by the 9th fret on the G string. And then you're going to go back to that slide for the G string and the B string. So all that together should sound like, minus the intro part. Okay, 
right, so once you have the first solo down, I'm going to do the second solo now. Um, and it's the same concept of vibrato, guitar noise, and some strings get bent. So that one goes like... <laughs> guitar needs a tune up i mean i'm pretty sure one of these cameras is gonna catch it but there's rust built up on each and every string um i don't know i guess that's just what happens when you move from new york to la back to new york and the humidity gets to your guitar so let's go through so the first thing you're going to do is hammer on on the a string from the fifth fret, fret to the seventh fret with a slide up to it <laughs> Then you're gonna hammer on on the G string, on the D string, seven, five, and seven. And once you have that, you're gonna bend that seventh fret on the D string up, and then go back to the fifth fret. And you're gonna end that phrase on the A string, 7th fret. And then you're going to go again. 5th fret, A string, hammer on, hammer on, that's the word. Hammer on to the 7th fret, and then back to the 5th fret of the beat T string. And then you're going to end that one on the 7th fret of the A string. Vibrato. After that part, you're going to slide 9th fret of the D string, then you're going to play the 7th fret of the G string, 9th fret of the G string, and then 8th fret of the B string, and then 9th fret of the G string again. Once you have that part down, it's back to the 7th fret of the G string, back to the 9th fret of the G string, so the whole thing should sound like... And then you're just going to go the same 7, 9, and 8, 7, fret of the G string, 9th fret of the G string to the B string. So the whole phrase should go. So, so far we have for the second solo. Right, so then the next phrase of that solo is the 8th fret on the B string, and you're going to slide that up so you get to the 12th fret. Only stopping on the 10th fret to play two notes. Three notes, sorry, just had to make sure. Now once you do that, you're gonna basically do a mini bar with your pointer finger. So you're pressing down the 12th fret of both the E and the D string, E and the B string. It has a very harsh sound. And with your ring finger, you're gonna go on the E string and hit the 15th fret. 
and then you're just gonna cycle it through. Okay, so that phrase is B, B, E, 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 and that's basically 12, 15, 12, 12, 15, 12, 12, 12 on the E string. Now once you do that phrase, you're going to slide up to 17th fret on the E string. Then you're going to go down to the 15th fret. Uh, 13th fret, 14th fret, 12th fret, 14th fret, 12th fret. So that whole phrase should sound like... and you want to end on that slide with the noise. And that's the second solo, so let me do it all at once. Okay, so now on to my favorite part of the song, which is the chorus solo. Okay, and chorus solo is the part that goes. Pretty basic part but it's so powerful um, especially because if you play the rhythm verse and chorus together you hear how the chorus is actually pretty sad sounding and this is almost like a romantic sounding guitar solo or a solo bit and it's fairly simple to play you're gonna slide using your ring finger up to 13th fret but you don't want to slide too much I say slide from the 11th fret or the 12th fret on the B string. And then from there, you're gonna hammer on to the 12th fret on the B string. And you're gonna alternate between the two. Lead into the 10th fret of the B string. Followed by the 12th fret of the G string and the ninth fret of the G string. And then you're gonna go back to the 12th fret, play it twice, and then back to the ninth fret of the G string. Really wanna get some vibrato in, in that bit. Slide off, and then you're gonna slide on to the B string, 7th fret, hit it twice, up to the 10th fret, back to the 7th fret, and then to the 9th fret, to the 8th fret, sorry. And then once you're on that 8th fret, you're going to stay there. You're going to go to the 3rd fret on the B string, slide to the 5th fret, back to the 8th fret, 
and an N on the fifth fret. And if you want on that fifth fret on the B string, you could actually bend it. And end on the third fret. So the guitar solo for the chorus is basically. Now last bit was optional, of course. That's my song Broken for guitar. Hopefully this was a comprehensive tab video um, with no tabs, because I don't know how to write that out since I'm not really good on YouTube yet. Um, hopefully me explaining the steps and all that helped out. Um, I hope this actually worked and I hope people learned it. Um, I want to thank everyone who liked the song, everyone who listened to the song and enjoyed it. Um, some of you did covers of it and I'll link some of those in this video and just I'm honored to even be compared by some people to Kari Amiyoko who's one of my favorite musicians but be sure to like this video if you did share it with people you think would want to play the song and subscribe to the channel and look out because more guitar songs are coming because I'm not done um, thank you and have a wonderful new year